Hey y'all, how you doing? This is Mr. Divine coming at you here. Um, another great week has passed us, and I hope you're all doing wonderful. Um, you'll have to excuse the, probably excuse the background noise because I have my fan on. Unfortunately, our air conditioner is not working well, so, but that's all right. It will be fixed tomorrow morning, so without further ado, um, let's move on. Okay, today I want to talk about, um, I don't know if you've all heard, I'm pretty sure you have by now, um, it's about, about this family that lived in Frederick, Colorado, um, as you all know, the guy name is Chris Watts, and, you know, Shannon Watts, and then, um, then, then the two girls, and then the unborn, um, unborn, unborn boy, um, but anyway, I think it's a very, very sad story. Very sad. Uh, from what I've heard on the news, uh, they've met. They met off of Facebook. As a matter of fact, uh, Shannon and Chris Watts met off of Facebook eight years ago, and um, from there they married and everything. But you know, I've actually looked on their on their social media. I mean, yeah, on their on the Shannon Watts Facebook account for myself, but. You know, we could really only go by what's on there. It doesn't paint the real picture of what was actually what was actually going on, you know. But it's a very sad situation, very, very senseless. I just don't it just doesn't make any sense. I mean, why would you why would you kill your own wife, your own children, your own flesh and blood? You know, it's it's just crazy. Now this is my opinion, my opinion only. You can like or dislike it, but you know, this is one of those videos where I'm pretty serious. If you're going to do that, why not just leave? If you're that unhappy with your, you know, if your circumstance, just leave. You didn't have to kill your children or your wife. You know, just leave and you just disappear from the radar. You know, you didn't have, he didn't have to do that, but guess what? He's going to pay for it now. According to the news, um, yeah, he, you know, they found, they found the wife, Shannon, and, um, they found her in, uh, a, a, a grave bu buried, um, nearby, and then also, they found the two girls in the, um, in one of the, uh, oil tanks filled with oil at, um, his, at his job, per se. <sighs> it's crazy. Then he has a nerve to do an interview and just lying the whole time, knowing good and darn well what he did. But according to him, he's saying that he walked in on Shannon, um, uh, strangling one of their daughters, and he just killed her in a rage. Yeah, right. No one believes that, sir. But you know, it's really crazy. You know, it's just it's just a senseless killing. It doesn't make any sense at all. And those girls, those little girls that never have a chance to do a sweet 16, um, go to high school, or anything like that, college, nothing. You know, he took, he took all of that away from them. To Shannon's family, you know, my deepest, deepest condolences, deepest condolences. But you know what? He had everything in the world. Uh, yes, you know, and I'm sure, you know, I'm sure, to, you know, I'm pretty sure that they had, um, hard financial times. I mean, I'm like, come on, who doesn't? We all go through financial difficulties, you know, but it doesn't give you a, give you a ticket to kill your family. Now, come on now. Let's get real. Let's be real about it now. It doesn't give you a ticket to do that. Now, he, he very, very well may have been having an affair, and I'm pretty sure. Because now I, I heard recently that a um, a guy has come forward and saying that um, him and Chris Watts has been in a ten month relationship. So, but my point is your 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 preference is not is not that's not the that's not your preference is not the point. The point is you killed you killed innocent children and then you killed um, a wife who loved who which loved you unconditionally. No, you're supposed to be the protector of your family. The person that protects your family, not not harm them, if anything. You know, that's just my thought on it. 
you know, just, it really, really, really angers me, you know. But you know what? That's all right, though. He's going to pay for it. He'll never see the light of day again. Now, I think his, um, I think he made his first court appearance, um, Chris Watts, he made his first court appearance on, uh, I believe it was, um, August, I think it's August 21st, August 19th, I'll have to take a closer look, so it was one of, one of those dates, but, um, his next court appearance will be at some point in, um, November, and I will definitely keep you guys, um, updated on it. Now, what do you think about this, uh, story? It's very sad, very sad indeed. I would love to hear your thoughts on it. Uh, please, please make, please share your thoughts with the comments in the comment section below. Now, him going to him going to prison and or being on being being on death row is just not enough. It's definitely not enough. You know, that's not even a big enough punishment for him. You know, to me, he should spend the rest of his life in prison and just. Sit there day after day after day and think about what he did. Death row is far too easy. Just my opinion. You don't have to agree with me. But yes, that's my thoughts on it. Like I said before, um, I would love to hear about what you think. Please comment in the comment section below. We can all start a little conversation down there. Well, um, as I was saying, I'm going to keep you more up to date on this story. Um, if I hear anything else, then I will give you an update. Anyway, if you found this video helpful, make sure you like, share, and subscribe. And don't forget to hit that bell button for any notifications I upload videos. That way you can stay updated anytime that I upload. Until next time, you guys, take care. Bye for now. And I will see you all in my next video. Take care.